friends welcome back to my channel I have this 350 watt ATX power supply it is not working its standby section is on its secondary power main power is not turning on let's see it what is the problem and how we can fix it if you don't have a good practical experience in power electronics how to deal with live electrical circuits never try to repair because it have live electrical voltage I will apply power using series lamp and we will see the condition of the lamp yes lamp illuminated for a while and then it back to normal that means its input circuit is good set multimeter to DC voltage and we will check voltage on black wire and purple wire here it is 5 volt check voltage on green pin these voltage must be present it is PS on command voltage now I will connect to any one pin red brown red orange blue and I will make jumper between green and black green and black there is no activity while we have standby voltage available but it is not turning on any section is not providing voltage let's open it inspect it carefully let's remove it Before touching to the primary side, check voltage on these canisters. black lead as a common it will remain permanent here set multimeter to voltage now I applied power using series lamp standby voltage available PS on available here it is using TL494 and LM339 339 as a supervisor and TL494 is working as a PWM controller so we will monitor pin number 4 of this IC and we will turn on PS on command pin number 4 1 2 3 4 it is 3.5 volts and I will connect black with green it is 0 that means this circuit is good it is receiving the PS on command check again 1 2 3 4 pin number 4 and we will make jumper between green and green and black it must be 0 that means our this circuit is ok now that means the problem here in TL494 now check pin number 12 
12 that means it is receiving 9.4 volt 13 4.8 volt that is reference voltage it must be 5 volt but we, we can compromise that 4.88 that means it is closer to our required value now I will make jumper and we will check pin number 9 10 11 11 number pin has 1.44 volt 49 volt Nine, ten, eleven. Pin number eleven have we can see this IC is working, this IC is providing signal. 27.8 kilohertz yes 27.8 kilohertz if I check signal on pin number 11 so pin number 11 have 27.78 kilohertz and pin number 8 pin number 8 also have signal 8 and 11 are providing signal that means this IC is good PWM controller and we have problem in signal amplifier in the pulse transformer or in the power power area now we need to troubleshoot there we look at it that input circuit is good standby section is good voltage supervisor section is good PWM section is good now the signal isolator that is signal transformer and our power driver and this section so we have problem in this portion before working on this circuit we need to test voltage on these capacitors these must be zero if we have voltage more than 16 volt 15 volt then we must discharge it in the output of this IC we have two signal transistors here inside we need to test these transistors here that are here one and two two transistors two diodes so it is receiving signal from this pin pin number eight and pin number eleven pin number eleven is here so we need to verify these components and then we will check this power stage base to collector so transistors are looking good I think this diode these diodes are bad now I will remove transistors and the diodes so it is best way to test out of the circuit because sometime it is giving parallel resistance in the circuit Now I removed these four components. Point six nine eight seven zero zero. This diode, uh, this transistor is good. The right side that is base. 
It's good. Good. Okay. Check this diode. This diode is short circuit. Yes, this diode is short circuit. Check this one. Open. Forward. So this diode is bad. So this diode is here in the signal transformer 1N4148. It is a protection diode for this transistor. So one diode is damaged here. Each transistor it have one diode, this one and this one. So one transistor that means if it is short circuit it is providing direct short circuit so it will not allow to switch this transformer. So that is the reason I think. Now I will use a signal diode from this board. Yes, now it is good reading. Now the diode, the rectifier is installed. Now it is giving good reading. Before this it was giving short circuit. When this diode was installed here, it was giving zero. But now it is giving good reading. The recovery diode is good now. That means this transistor will switch now. Let's apply power and then we will check it. Series lamp. I connected power supply to the series lamp and I will connect to any one power supply and I will make jumper for a while. If the lamp will glow, I will remove the jumper immediately. No lamp indication that means the circuit is now working properly and we have 12 volt in the output. Check 5 volt power supply it is good. 3.3 volt that's nice. Minus 11 that's good. Minus 5 volt it's good. Yellow wire 12.39 good PG signal or PSOK -OK signal good 3.3 OK if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching